All right, we have done our propensity matching, and now we want to determine if our matches were good. We did a quick and dirty t-test just because we were so anxious to see if there was a difference between our lens types. But really, we shouldn't be so impatient, and we should look and make sure we're okay there. So I've now put all the... Uh, all the scores, to, all the tables together. Now, one thing you could do at this point, well, let's not do it yet, is you could delete all these guys so you don't have to mess with selecting them in the future. But let's go back to our t-test. Analyze descriptives. Um, I'm sorry, not our t-test, our uh, descriptives. And let's compute means. Before we do that, let's data split the sample so we compare groups by lens type. Now let's go in and do uh, analyze descriptive. And let's look at all our variables. And now we've got all these means calculated. And let's copy this, put it into Excel. And now our mission is to determine if we have uh, matched our groups. If we have matched, then we shouldn't find uh, differences between uh, the two spherical and aspherical groups. And we're going to do this by looking at effect size. So um, here we have equals this mean spherical minus actually since spherical came first, let's look at a spherical minus spherical divided by the average standard deviation, which is um, this value plus this value divided by 2. We want, we would be very happy if all these numbers were less than 0 0.1 to 0.2. Remember Cohen's small effect, rule of thumb, his small effect size was um, 0.2. We'd like to be underneath 0.1. We're close. Ooh. Oh, well, this is, yeah, well, we're hoping for big numbers here. This is the actual length change. You can see that was significant. <laughs> so, uh, but our variables for axial length of baseline. We are a little troubled. Well, the KT axis we didn't look at. We didn't care about that. But it is a little troubling that sphere was different. Spherical equivalent. A little a little less than what we would hope for. Or a little much bigger effect than we would hope for. But that's what we got. And uh, we might be able to improve on this if we went through and included interaction terms with our baseline variables. But in general, this is a pretty good fit. It's all less than Cohen's 0.2 for a small effect size. So it's uh, pretty small. Again, we don't care about these guys because these are after 
um, these are after the fact. This is what we're looking to see as a difference. You can see the difference steadily grows between the two lens types uh, over time. All right. Uh, so that's how you you check and see how you did. And we did all right. We didn't do perfect, but we did all right.